Coming up shortly, live coverage of Boris Becker's third round match against Kelly Everton of New Zealand. Now, the 17-year-old Wimbledon King has captivated the attention not only of his country, West Germany, but of tennis fans around the world, I think. And as he progresses here at the U.S. Open, everyone wonders if the Wonderkin can keep the magic going. It's okay. Everything came so, so suddenly, you know, and now I realize it, what I've done there, you know. <laughs> It was, uh, it was like a dream, I cannot describe it. Left-hand court, Royal Box end, served, up to the ace! It's a Wimbledon fairy tale! Signs, it all started when Boris Becker was eight years old, growing up in Lyman, West Germany. The so-called Boris Boogie was there already, and so was that championship smile. Then, he developed his special flair for making the impossible gets and turning them into championship points. That's my style, you know, that's, that's my way to play in. Diving and fighting for, for every ball. I started the Pro Tour nine months ago and uh, I was ranked 700 or somewhere, or 200, 300, 400, and then uh, I have no idea. For a while last year, the ranking seemed academic. Boris broke his ankle at Wimbledon. And the same thing almost occurred this year against Tim Mayo. But Boris Becker could not be stopped. It's not usual that, uh, that someone can Wimbledon with the age of 17, you know, and so I think that's just a matter of, um, a, a matter of fact that uh, the press wanted to talk with, with me now and because I'm, I'm a, a little bit a sensation. And so the young sensation is secluded these days in a private house on Long Island. His every move is masterminded by manager Ion Teriak and his coach, Gunter Bosch. He's doing everything for me. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's training me, he's, he's working with me, he's, he's traveling with, with me. I, I can play chat with him. He's, he's, uh, he's, he's like my father. Ion is the big man above uh, Gunter and me, and uh, he said uh, which tournament I'm going to play and, and all the things. I want him to become a, a happy human being. I want him to become a tennis player that is there to stay for 10 years, that coming at least, if not 15. I want him to become a very rich human being, so when he gets out of this game, he can live exactly the same life or better the way he wanted. And I just wanted to stay himself and not to change. Back in Germany, Becker mania has become positively contagious. He already is a bigger national hero than former heavyweight champion Max Schmeling. And tennis buffs say that the red-haired Becker reminds them of Don Budge. Yet Becker is clearly working to create a lasting identity of his own. I think uh, I'm uh, something like a uh, uh, new hero for Germany, maybe. And Budge was a great player, and uh, for example, Magnum was a, is a great player, and Bog was a great player, and and I'm not Bach or Magno, I'm Boris Becker, you know. And uh, I, I wanted to be a great player, also. Yeah. So earlier, John McEnroe upheld his part of the bargain. He was a winner. Now Boris Becker must win this match, and then both of them would be only one victory apiece from a quarterfinal confrontation. Kelly Everndon of New Zealand. He is Becker's foe. Everndon and McEnroe met in Wimbledon. McEnroe took him out easily. Becker's next. So, what do you think? I'm just not sure. You said you wanted something epic. But classic. Like your shirt. What is it? It's a Bradstreet from Arrow. Now that I can understand. And that's what this is. It's elegant and contemporary. Yeah. It's dignified yet stylish. Uh-huh. And I really think that... We should start construction next week. Next week? Right. Bradstreet, the image maker. A new collection of classic dress shirts from Arrow. I'm Jimmy Connors, and it's about time you met my partner, my financial side. All successful people and companies have a financial side. Let's go, partner. But to really be a winning team, you might need some help. We need some help. You need Payne Weber behind you for financial expertise, sound advice. We believe the quality of life just might depend on the quality of your financial services. Thank you, Payne Weber. 
You're awfully stiff. You've got to loosen up a little bit. A lot of people think of me for my serve, just like they think of the USTA as the US Open. But there's a lot more to it than that. That's the way. Hi, Mom. The USTA has programs for pro as well as recreational players. Clinics and tournaments for kids and their parents. So as you can see, there's a lot more to the USTA than the Open. Just like there's more to Pam Shriver than just her serve. Hi, Mom. Tennis, the a sport for a lifetime. Wimbledon champion Boris Becker, the number eight seed here at the U.S. Open, has won the toss and is elected to serve against Kelly Everenden of New Zealand, who now lives in Australia. Time. Kelly Everenden is ranked Quiet, please, 144th. Over on the grandstand, Mats Vilander won the first set 6-3 from Paul Anacone, and we'll keep you abreast of that match as it progresses. Boris Becker, Becker serving. serving. Boris Becker got a Play. tremendous ovation as he walked out in the stadium court. Skies are darkening somewhat. And the youngest player ever win the Wimbledon Championship or a Grand Slam event, Boris Becker serving first. Good opening point, a backhand <laughs> off the top of the racket into the stands. That's rather a smart looking shirt Boris has got on too, isn't it? Got a matching jacket. I don't think he has to buy those anymore, does he? I hear that uh, Ivan Lendl wears a new shirt every time he plays. I'm just going to mention that, he, and, he, and he throws it away. I like to be as ballet and get a few good shirts. <laughs> Kelly Everenden, New Zealander, has a tough task ahead of him. bit surprised that on this fast type surface that uh, Becker is not following a serve into the net I he, think we'll see him do that more often as he was serving and bowling the other day and uh, in his match and I think he's probably just try to work his way into the match a few rallies to get his touch going he didn't get a lot of first serves in in his in his second round match it was a, a little bit astray That second serve has so much kick on it, and it goes very high over the net, and then bounces up high. It gives Boris plenty of time to get in very tight on the net. Particularly if you stand behind the baseline to return the serve, as Kelly is doing right now. You need to get that ball earlier on the rise if you've got a guy coming in behind it. Becker's toss is a little bit higher than it is necessary, and with a little breeze out there, that can have an ill effect on his serve. Let's have a look how close he gets to the net now for this first volley. Lunging in and closing in on the net all the time, anticipating the little dink across court. Very natural mover at the net. Back live at 40-30, first game. Game Becker. Becker holds his serve and wins the first game of the first set. Becker wins the first game. AT&T on office automation. Keeping track of your business used to be as easy as using your telephone. Then came the information age with all its wonders. Computers in every shape and size. Electronic mail. System on top of system. You'd think there'd be a simpler way. Enter AT&T. In AT&T's world, 
your office telephone system can pull information from all those different systems into one neat bundle and deliver it right to your desk. In AT&T's world, you're on top of things, no matter how many systems you have or might have. AT&T, the right choice. There's a tendency in business to focus on the big picture. But at Cigna, we realize the big picture is actually made up of millions of smaller pictures. Which is why our companies provide an array of insurance, health care, employee benefits, and financial services to millions of individuals and thousands of businesses. One person at a time. Cigna. Personalized service to business around the world. That's the situation. Kelly Everenden serving second game of the first set. That's not a bad service action. I was watching uh, Everenden in the warm-up. Haven't seen him hit any second serves yet. We'll see how that is. That'll be an important factor. First serve's very powerful, though. Keep that up, you'd be hard to beat. <laughs> Kelly Evenden is only five foot nine inches tall and 155 pounds. That's quite a serve, Trabe. He gets over it. Uh, he gets a little bit of arc on it, a little safety over the net. I like the way he's, he walks into it. He gets that weight really rocking into that serve. Take advantage of the body. And, of course, that helps you get your momentum started as you come into the net. Thirty fifteen. Court mobility by both players there. Mm. Okay, moving in now, very 40, powerful 15. cross court for an anticipated though by Becker. The backhand volley, not a bad one. And a great pickup, but good anticipation. Back live at 40 15. games are one off first set. Earlier we asked Kelly Everton about his chances against Boris Becker. Well, going on how he beat Will Ander, I don't rate him pretty good. But, uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to go out there and just give in to the guy. I mean, I'm going to be trying. So, you know, if he falls over and breaks the leg, I'll win, I guess. That could be the only way you win. You win, I'm not sure. But uh, speaking of his match against Belander, Becker beat him in Cincinnati, the ATP championships. I think it was 6-4, 6-2. Very impressive performance by the Wimbledon champion, who was also impressive against the United States Davis Cup team earlier in West Germany. He is no fluke. 15 law. Tony uh, Kelly sounded as if he spoke funny there. Has he got some sort of accent? Yeah, he comes from near down under. I understand uh, that he's living in your country, Nuke, in Australia, though he was born in in uh, New Zealand. That's correct. But he went to school at the University of Arkansas. A lot of very talented young New Zealanders and Australians go to the universities on tennis scholarships over here. 15 all. Standing well in on Becker's second serve. It's a tactic, I think, that you have to do. There's not many weaknesses that Becker has, and... One of them may be because of so much kick he has on his second serve. A lot of them land a little bit short. Try to pressure it. Decker is the youngest player to win at Wimbledon. Youngest player to win a Grand Slam title. First German to win a Wimbledon men's singles title. First unseated player to win a set, much less a tournament at Wimbledon. 
game, Becker. So Becker leads 2-1 in the first set. We'll Becker be back to U.S. Open after this word from your local station. For 10 years, experience and consistency has made it the viewer's choice. The season premiere of the NFL Today, next Sunday on CBS Sports. This is CBS. It's the final days of hot deals and cool vacations at your Tucson Nissan dealers. Make your best deal on any new Nissan car or truck with low 8.8% financing on trucks. Then enjoy a great bonus vacation for two in Ocean Cool San Diego. You'll fly round trip on America West Airlines, the airline with less fare and more care. And enjoy three days and two nights at your choice of three great Pacific hotels. But hurry, we got a hot deal and a cool vacation from your Tucson Nissan dealers. Thoroughbred Nissan and Jim Click Nissan. Goals. Reaching them takes planning. Whether it's climbing a mountain or reaching your peak financially. At Mutual Benefit Financial Group, we'll help you map out your financial future, guiding you step by step. Because we offer the widest range of financial products and services, you'll have the right tools to reach new financial heights. Mutual Benefit Financial Group. Financial planners who can put you on top of your future. Barbara Grijalva, this weekend, another reason Channel 13 News is the team to watch. That's the situation, men's third round action. Stadium court, U.S. Open. Kelly Everenden serving. Update on a couple of scores. We land her over Anna Cohn, 6-3 in the first set. Anna Cohn, 2-1 in the second. That's in the grandstand. Court 16, Tim Mayotte, 13 seed against Nduka Odazor. Mayotte leading 4-3 in the first set, and we will keep you up to date on those results. Pretty long. Second ace for Everenden. Handsome kid, isn't he, that Becker? Just what our game needs, a new face, new name, a good champion, a youngster. Run. Ball. Four Ball. I was really happy to hear what uh, Jan Tiriak had to say in the interview just mm -hmm. a while ago when he said, I just hope that Boris will be able to keep a very happy person and stay as himself, uh, make some money and be successful, but be around for 10 to 15 years. Well, he has a good solid game and he has a solid body. So barring some unfortunate injury like the, the ankle injury suffered at Wimbledon two years ago, he could be around for a long time. <coughs> You know, it's amazing what what gives a player a lift to suddenly climb like that. Uh, Australian boy Mark Kratzman beat Boris in the French junior semi-finals last year and in the final of the U.S. juniors. Nine months later, Mark's uh, you know around 150 in Qualifying. the world. And, mm, yeah, and Boris is uh, Wimbledon champion. So, I don't know how Evenden kept his foot, feet on the ground when he ran back for that one. But these are the types 40, of incredible 30. shots that Becker has been able to get back. Just lunging at the ball and somehow getting it over the head. Some people yeah. may say it's lucky if you do it once, but when it keeps happening, it means it's skill. Kelly was lucky not to fall in that attempt as he is serving at 40-30. Look at the portion of the draw 
As you can see, McEnroe at the top. He now plays Tomas Schmid. And if Becker wins this match, he will play the winner of Goldie and Nystrom, who played tonight. Nystrom uh, had Becker down and out of Wimbledon, serving 5-4 in the fifth set for the match. Becker broke back and then lost his serve, and Nystrom serving again. And finally, Becker won at 9-7 in the fifth set. And then a couple of weeks ago, the ATP champion in Cincinnati. Again, Becker won 6-4, 7-5, I believe it was, Nuke, but very close. And the word is Nystrom's playing extremely well, so... Well, Becker is thing. certainly no cinch. Well, there are some people, uh, you know, so-called tennis experts around the Open that are saying, watch Nystrom against Becker. They think that, that he'll really push him. Well, that could be a problem for Becker because everyone's talking about the potential quarterfinal matchup between McEnroe and Becker, which will be played next Wednesday night. And you got to be careful not to look ahead when you're playing in a field like this one. Well, 30. Two double faults in a row. It's a good time to spin your first one in. Eliminate that thought in your mind that you might do it again. Not a bad return from Evan doing that sets him up with three break points. Kid is quick, isn't he? He is. He's quick on his feet. And a lot of power for five foot nine inches tall. Game, Everton. Great game by Everton, who breaks serve and now leads 3 2 first set. What most people don't realize when they get a raise is that everyone else is getting one too. At Integrated Resources, we believe the only way to really get ahead is to invest. So we offer investment programs that help you keep more of what you earn. Sure, getting a raise is nice, but it's not enough to bank on. Integrated Resources, because there's money to be made. Like most small towns, Tyler, Texas is building and growing. Ask Dick Hightower, lumber dealer. Folks come to Dick for all kinds of building products, and Dick comes to us. We're Georgia Pacific, and we help more Americans do more remodeling with more kinds of building products than any other company in America. So in Tyler, or wherever you live, you can build on our name. Georgia Pacific. Imagine a tool that could make a computer programmer ten times more productive. Imagine what that could mean to a bank, a manufacturer, a government agency. At Burroughs, we did more than imagine it. We made it a reality. It's called Link, software that increases programmer productivity up to an astonishing 1,000%. At Burroughs, we never forget why you're in business in the first place. Everenden broke Becker at love and is now serving at 3-2 in the first set with a break. Got this big first stadium crowd buzzing a little bit. about Becker at Wimbledon when he lost his serve he came back smoking he, he gambles he'll go after the return of serve if he gets any kind of a swing at it well, if you in the grandstand Elander trailing 2-3 in the second set against Anacone on the serve and Odazor now 5-4 in the first set against Tim Mayotte and we'll keep you up to date on those and other scores as we go along There are a lot of people that thought Boris Becker had a pretty easy run through the draw at Wimbledon. I don't necessarily agree. 
And there it is. Hank Fister, Matt Anger. Nystrom had him down in the fifth set. He let him get away. Tim Mayotte took him to five sets. And then he beat Henri Leconte, who beat Lendl. Anders Jarid, and then Kevin Curran, who upset both McEnroe and Connors. So if that's an easy road, I'll put in with you. The blimp shot. Our good friends at Goodyear. Our wonderful tennis center. And Shea Stadium. See you. showed you a stat on first serve percentages and those statistics and all the others come courtesy of Burroughs Corporation. We appreciate their help in keeping us up to date. Have a look at Becker down this end of the court as he's returning serve. Now those serves are coming pretty hard at him, but you watch his weight moving forward as he makes the return. He'll be almost on the baseline or just inside. And he shortens the backswing on the return on this fast surface. Doesn't take the big looping swing that he might try on a clay court because he just doesn't have time. Game ever and done. Everton leads 4-2. Flying high over New York this afternoon is the Goodyear Blimp America. He comes into the net. And anticipating, look, he's waiting for the down the line forehand. Must have had some good scouts out there. He riveted that second backhand volley. Saved a break point, it's deuce. Oh, that serve was out two feet. Bowls a full. Serve was out two feet. The, the Cyclops, that's the umpire, Leon Lip. The Cyclops only runs about 18 inches behind the line. And when it lands beyond that 18 inch period, no, no. When it lands beyond those 18 inches, it does not go off. And it's up to the umpire to make that call because there are I, no service linesmen there. I can't believe the umpire doesn't call that. I don't know whether it was two feet, but it was a, it was a good six to eight inches. It was... Well, it's got to be past 18 according to what they tell us how the Cyclops works. So Leon Lip in the hot seat right now. Uh, now it's up to Kelly to advantage back get oh, his that's... concentration back. That's just not fair. I can't believe that can happen. So obviously out on the serve. Games are five all. Tyriak and Bosch. Bosch, Gunnar Bosch is the coach. Tyriak, the manager of Boris Becker. So it's history now. Becker going to serve at five all. 
Without a little help to get that break back. Fifteen long. Ace number four by Becker. This is an occasion, uh, Tony, we have to say, being a top-seeded player, does it help you? Because McEnroe or Lendl or Connors just would have refused to play on. You know, yeah. Kelly never even tried to play the return. It was no. obvious. Everyone knew it was out. Right, including Becker. So with a little more experience, uh, Kelly Evan and I feel should have just walked up to the umpire and said, I'm not playing. Then what are you going to do, though? Ask for the umpire or the referee. Everybody else seems to do it. Baseline, Becker didn't play it. 30-15. I'll tell you, the folks are getting into it around here. They've got some stuff going on in the grandstand. You hear them booing and cheering and hollering over there. We've got the same thing here. Anacone has won the second set over Vilander, so they're a set apiece over on the grandstand. Double fault department for Becker. Well, Becker just said something to the umpire, and I think he's finding it just a little hard to concentrate at the moment. And this is one of the tricks of learning to play out in this stadium court. The crowd start getting involved in the match and booing and screaming and yelling. Really got to knuckle down and concentrate. He's just lost a little bit of momentum here. Didn't really set up very well for that shot at all. He got in too close to it. Couldn't make a free swing at it. Nice oh, shot. Uh, I'm here with three account executives from EF Hutton. I'm up. For years, Hutton has given me sound advice. So I figure I owe them some advice in golf. <laughs> okay, Bill. Yep. Lesson number one, find your target. My target's financial independence. I set my goals, and Hutton helps me to achieve them. Watch this, Tom. Oh, oh no. Lesson number two, fishing. <laughs> <laughs> and golf, they're amateurs. With your money, they're pros. To hit the right note on your personal computer, you've got to have the right personal printer. That's why IBM offers an ensemble of personal printers. For text, for color, for graphs, for pictures, for speed, for charts, for letter quality, for whatever you compose. IBM personal printers for the finishing touch. AT&T is in a bonny business. Since Scottish and Irish imports of Annapolis added AT&T 800 service, catalog sales are up 75% in just two years. And the tartan? Which makes their bonny business a booming business. And gives you one more reason to choose AT&T long-distance services. The better. 
business machine. Talk with us. AT&T, the right choice. Eastern 6 Pacific, the Houston Oilers and the Dallas Cowboys will clash for the bragging rights of Texas in an NFL preseason game on CBS Sports. The final tune-up for both teams as they prepare for next Sunday's regular season opener. So join Pat Summerall and John Madden tonight here on CBS. That's 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Everton's won the first point. They're just ready to yell at anything now. Well, yeah, they're they're riled up and they feel like Kelly's getting the worst of it. No one is intensely favoring Becker, but been a couple of tough calls against Kelly Everenden, and it's 15 all. Applaud the lines, but it had nothing to do with the other decisions at all. You know, so they're just they're just fired up. I think they want to see a tiebreaker. the fans over here there they'd never heard of him probably before he came on the court and here he makes this acrobatic dive up in the air for a great cross-court volley two points now he has to take it into the tiebreaker Up, Mark. <laughs> the tie break, Becker serving first. Becker to serve first, the tie breaker, the first player to reach seven points with at least a two point advantage will be the winner. Becker to serve the first point, and as you can hear, the fans are into it. happening here Tony the, the French champion on the One adjoining court got a set all and the Wimbledon champion on the stadium court fighting to stay in the first set that's what the US Open's all about
right poly though. Three zero Becker. Well, Kelly Evenden thinks he hit the ball. Thought that he'd hit the volley in. I thought that was out. I think that one's long. Giving us a violin concerto. <laughs> At any rate, Becker is serving three love, three zip in the tiebreaker. Kelly taking a little time trying to get his composure back. Becker. Right in the crowd, hollering out. They get excited. Five zero Becker. Ace number five. At the end of this point, the players will change ends. Becker. So the players will change ends, and Becker has a bushel basket full of set points. You could say it doesn't look really, really promising for <laughs> Kelly Evenden at this stage, does it? Not at this set. I guess it, it's anything is possible, but he's staring at six set points. Becker. Little venom in that delivery. Breeze is picking up some. Could make the serving a little more difficult. Smashing. giving it everything he's got. I don't know how he got out of that point. I was surprised that Becker smashed that ball in the air because it is gusting up down there and it would have been a ball that it was high enough to let it bounce and come up for you to sit there a little more quietly. Still got four set points. First set, Becker, 7-6. So, Boris Becker wins the first set, 7-6, a tiebreaker, 7 points to 2. And we'll be back at the U.S. Open after this word from your local station. When there's nowhere to turn, help is as near as your phone. You call and I will be there. The Equalizer, premiering Wednesday, September 18th. This is CBS.
I can trade in this old TV on a new Curtis Mathis? <laughs> Curtis Mathis National Trade-In Days are on. I can trade in this TV on a new Curtis Mathis? Bring in your old TV to your Curtis Mathis Home Entertainment Center now and get up to $300 off on a stereo, TV, big screen, VCR, or camera. All with our exclusive four-year warranty and easy monthly payments. Trade in this TV? It's almost as old as he is. <laughs> The General XP 2008. It performed. It performed in Europe. It performed like a on the test track. And the Autobahn. And the XP 2008. The high performance radial tire from General. And it moves like a tractor. The General XP 2008. The start of something big, Saturday following Nightcast on 13. That is the view of Forest Hills, where the U.S. Open was played, the U.S. Championships for many years. And 1978 moved here to Flushing Meadow. Lots of fond memories of that center court. Nuke, you remember that well, I'm sure. You're getting refitted with a new headset. But the game of tennis just simply outgrew that wonderful facility. And we're now at the place that Slew Hester built. Louis Armstrong Stadium in Flushing Meadow. Kelly Everton to serve first in set number two. Oh. Yeah, I was visiting out at uh, Forest Hills two weeks ago, actually. A lot of, a lot of memories from, from that club. Well, you're not kidding. Crowd still buzzing after that first set tiebreaker first, first set sir. took 57 minutes it was a good first set too lots of entertaining shots lots of action good return 15 all we can just get the crowd involved a little bit new could be a little better don't you think <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're not vocal enough no <laughs> they don't get excited they're always nice and lenient towards the umpire if he makes right. a mistake too <laughs> they forgive him after about two hours what? 15 30. Becca just starting to get the range a little bit on Evenden's first serve. He appears a little more confident in returning it. That was Kelly's only double fall of the match thus far. And as he gets more confident in returning it, so the more pressure will be on Evenden. Fifteen wide. And it's double break point for Becker. It's a little bit like a baseball pitcher really serving, isn't it, Tony? If they start to get onto your serve, you've got to come up with something else. Otherwise, you better mix it up. You're going to be hit out. Well, that just caught the, caught the edge of the line. Not a bad smash here, because he was in trouble. He just got it back across court. Keeping the pressure up, coming on in, and a super passing shot, or attempted passing shot from Becker. But uh, Evenden reads the net very well, Tony, doesn't he? He moves very well. He anticipates it well. He has good feel up there, and he's quick. Tough way to save a break point. He's still <laughs> facing break point at 30-40. First game of the second set. I'm surprised Becker hadn't tried to come in off the return of the second serve once in a while. A lot of them have been going pretty deep. Here he is moving around the baseline. 
Game Becker. So Becker breaks serve and wins the first game of the second set, and it seems, Nuke, that Becker's starting to get the feel a little bit. Becker he wins the first game of the second set. He really is appearing a lot set. more confident the way he's walking. You can tell in his at attitude that he is confident. Let's go to the grandstand for a quick update. We are in the fifth game of the third set. Sets are even 6-3, 1-1, uh, one one rather, between Matt Stillander and Paul Anacone. And we are at deuce. Stillander serving. It's been a fascinating match, Virginia Wade. Oh, Paul Anacone is coming up with so many touch shots. It's terrific. You know, I haven't seen Wielander make so many errors, but he's under constant pressure. Paul Anacone comes in on everything. He starts coming in on the return of the first serve. He comes in on second serves. He comes in the whole time, and he sits on the net and hits with these great touch volleys. Break point. Second serve. We've not had a service break in 18 games. Excuse. Back at deuce. And because Paul comes in so much, Wielander has had to come in himself, so we've seen more in the way of serve volleying from him, but he looks to me very pressurized, and it's been difficult to concentrate on this court. This court, of course, only 120 feet away from the stadium court, and the uh, noise generated by that uh, great match going on has uh, invaded over here. Advantage, Anika. Paul Anacone won the tiebreaker in the second set, 7-2. Didn't uh, have much problem with that. To even the sets at one apiece. He's 21 years old, played collegiate tennis at Tennessee. Nice. Game Anakin. First service break since we were at 3-1 in the first set. Now let's go back to the stadium court and Tony Traber. And we pick it up live with Becker serving at 15 love in the second game of the second set. 30, 30 love. He now moves to 30 love against Kelly Everenden. Becker won the first set in a tiebreaker. Of course, it was 7-6. Seven, 7 points to 2 in the tiebreaker. <laughs> Becker has changed into a dry, new, clean shirt. There's a cool breeze out there, so once you're perspiring, they're changing so that it don't get cold. Forty. Generates a lot of power off his ground strokes, Boris Becker. Tony, a, a little bit like Lindell on the forehand side. He certainly does. He, he's, he has power on either side. When he goes over that backhand, he can really hit it with a lot of pace. Uh, a little careless there with a 40 love lead. See his shirt being blown around his hair. It is get a little more gusty. barely stayed in the arena and it's 40 30. So Becker holds and now leads two love in the first set. Earlier we asked Kelly Emerton about Becker, Becker mania. He's 
definitely done a lot for tennis in the last couple of months, you know, since winning Wimbledon. I mean, he's just a huge draw and he's just a, you know, he's a personable kind of guy and everybody kind of likes him and he's young and he's fresh, you know, and he's, and he's exciting and I think the crowd needed that. And, uh, I mean, I can see why they're behind him, but, you know, hopefully they'll be a little bit behind me if I, you know, start getting into the match a little too. Well, very prophetic because they certainly got behind him in that first set against Becker. And I think a very intelligent comment. Boris Becker has been a real shot in the arm for the game of tennis. Oh. Emerton won the first point of this third game. He's trailing Love 2 in the second set. That's a good shot. That's a very powerful shot. Top spin and down the line and off a fairly high ball. You've got to be strong to do that. A lot of people have said to me that Boris Becker reminds me a little bit of the way Lou Hode played very aggressively. I never played singles against Lou. I you did. You certainly did, Tony. Yeah, plenty of times. Lou Hode, of course, the famous Australian player. the guy that never hit off the back, didn't like to hit off the back foot, and Becker looks like that too as we watch a replay of this point. And of course, finishing it up nicely by coming in. Would you agree with that? Yeah, uh, Lou was the most complete player I had ever seen it at that age uh, until Becker came along. I'm not saying Becker played any better than Hody did at that age, but uh, usually you get a youngster coming up, they're good in certain areas, but they have some weaknesses they have to develop. But I really don't see a, a basic flaw in in Becker's game. Oh. On the line. Out. Just called out. Some of those backhand passing shots when he's under pressure, he takes a, quite a big preparation, but he always seems to have time to play it. He does it early. Mm. He made a great backhand passing shot under pressure against Nystrom at Wimbledon behind the baseline and got it ready early and just ripped one down the line. Becker didn't hear the call of fault. picked it up but Becker put his racket his hand up the air and applauded that shot good deep approach this put on the defensive really nuke with that hard backhand oh yeah see if I can see there's up. Becker yep. applauding the shot good to see that you bet and it's 40 30 that was a great shot serve. Becker now leads 2-1 the second set. There's a tendency in business to focus on the big picture. But at Cigna, we realize the big picture is actually made up of millions of smaller pictures. Which is why our companies provide an array of insurance, health care, employee benefits, and financial services to millions of individuals and thousands of businesses. One person at a time. Signal. Personalized service to business around the world. Dr. Klein, Dr. Klein, code blue. The crisis for medical people today is how bogged down they are in non-medical activity. That's why hospitals are turning to cost-efficient computer systems from Burroughs Corporation. Systems that allow doctors and nurses to send and receive life-saving information instantly so they can concentrate on patients, not paperwork. Burroughs computers were brought into hospitals to save money, but they wound up saving something a lot more important. To the family of a man who's drowning, technology means nothing. They'll never see the amazing box developed by Allied Corporation that tells the searchers where they've been and where they're going. 
Yet this little box, designed by Allied's Bendix engineers, can help find a needle in a haystack. Allied Corporation, our advanced technology may be complex, but the results are often quite simple. Safe? Thank God. CBS Sports, happy to bring you the U.S. Open 1985. Men's singles third round action. Becker to serve at 2-1 in the second set. Won the first set in a tiebreaker. Yeah. Well, Nuke, there are no free lunches. Everything's tough. <laughs> no one said it was going to be easy, right? Uh, it shouldn't be either. This is... I'm sure Becker would be enjoying this match, especially more so that he, he has the first set in the bag. It's good to have a tough match. This could be the strongest field in the history of the U.S. Open. 107 of the top 114 ranked men are entered. Only three of the top 50 are not here, and they're clay court specialists. And it's very similar to women's field. the women's field all but three of the top 100 are playing so you got the cream of the crop they're all here they should be too you're darn right and then you start eliminating down we're in the third round well you can see how close becker was allowed to get to the net then because Evenden was standing back well behind the baseline, allowed that spinning ball to get up high. I think he might have thought it was going to be long. End up blocking under, it usually goes over those shots. 30 off. That change of pace wide to the forehand of the Deuce Court has worked very well for Becker. Takes a little speed off, gets a good break on it. Becker now leads three games to one in the second set, and let's go to Brent. All right, Tony, let's get everybody up to date quickly. John McEnroe earlier today, he was a straight set winner. Tomas Smith is next for McEnroe. He needed five sets to beat Jimmy Arias. Yvonne Lindell advanced earlier in straight sets. Yannick Noah also a winner, and right now let's go back to Tony Traver. Everton serving at one to three, second set. First serve, failing him a little bit. Only 47% of first serves by Kelly Everenden. That's not good enough. Of course, when you got a guy, an opponent that returns as well as Becker, you really have to go after the first serve. 30 long. It's tough for him, too. He's hitting every, every first serve very, very hard. Right. And he's only 5 foot 9. You know, it's a, <laughs> it helps if you're about 6'1 to... Be or two or hard. three. Yeah. 40. He doesn't, he doesn't seem to have a, that three-quarter pace first serve. He has to go for speed, and that's it. He's got a, in other words, he's got a fastball, and that's about it. No slider. No, there's no slider. <laughs> it's just fastball. Bang, bang. Good when it goes in. Just now, Everton. Everton holds serve. Becker leads 3-2, and we'll go to the grandstand. Where Paul Anacone leads 5 Becker leads to 4 three, two. And he's up 30-15, serving for the set. Oh, a great break for Belander. Nice shot. Caught the top of the net. And we're 30 all. But Virginia Wade, uh, Matt's Belander, is at least in a momentary state of disarray. 
Well, he's not playing well. He's not really being allowed to play well. And Paul is. Paul is still hitting all these. Every single shot that he hits is different. It has a different spin on it. One of his good serves, but that was one of the best returns that Bieland has hit. Bielander, you know, he's such a good player that he can knuckle down when he really has to, but he's been having trouble. He lost the last two service games of Anacones very easily, so Paul in a little bit of trouble here. 30-40. That's the 14th ace of the match for Paul Anacone. As we said earlier, he's a hometown kid in New York. And he has the French Open champion, at least for the moment, in difficulty. And he thought he was going to get the call, but it was called out. Kind of did a little rabbit-like hippity-hop towards the net. 5-4, Anacone leads. That's the sort of return I don't expect to see Wielander making. And I just feel he's become so unsettled, he just can't get his rhythm at all. Sets are currently even at 1-1. Wielander won the first set 6-3. Went to the tiebreaker in the second, which Anacone won easily 7-2 in the tiebreaker. And now, set point. Deuce. Back to Deuce. He's not going to stay back at that baseline, is he? He comes in on absolutely everything. Even when he hits a, a fairly indifferent shot, which is short, he still keeps coming in. Wins a lot of points that way. Zelander has not broken Anacone since back in the first set. And he's got break point now. You know, it's not as if uh, Wieland uh, doesn't do well on fast courts. He may have won the French Open twice, but he's also won the Australian Open twice on fast grass, so he can play on this. Mm. Strange, you know, he's... The volleys that he does miss are almost the more percentage volleys. It's, he makes these some amazing stretches and anticipates well. When the ball comes very hard at him and it's more of an ordinary volley, he sometimes misses. Uh-oh. Couldn't choose much worse a point to break a string. He's got to serve a second serve. Boris Becker held serve and is up 4-2 in the second set. Game, Vlander. Game, Vlander. His first break since the first set. Let's go back to the stadium. Bye. Where Terry Edmonton is serving. <laughs> Kelly, I'm sorry. My name is Terry. Nuke, you get the feeling that Becker's sort of getting control of things a little bit. Picked up the momentum some. He looks confident in his play out there and the way he's walking around the court. He wasn't that sure in the first set, though. Very tentative. Got into some trouble in the first set when he lost his serve, mainly caused by serving two double faults in a row to get down love 30 on his serve. Thirty fifteen. 
ace number four for Kelly. Becker stopped one of those like that and hit on the line. That's right. That was out by six or eight inches. I think I'd be ready to play that thing and let somebody call it first. And Becker will adopt a position just behind the baseline but move well in, take the return. Both these players like to hit heavy topspin on their ground strokes. Sometimes makes it hard to judge the bounce. second set new balls please the ancients called diamonds splinters of stars the error is understandable kings fought for them empires fell because of them of course we're above all that the Greeks believed the fire of a diamond reflected the constant flame of love as you can see nothing has changed Give her a quality diamond of a carat or more. Man's most brilliant tribute to a woman. Honey, mm -hmm. you have Michelin tires in your car, don't you? Yeah. How come? Oh, I don't know. They're terrific tires. Why? How come I don't have Michelins in my car? Oh, sweetheart, they cost more. I drive to work. I, I go out of town a lot. All you use your car for is shopping, driving Amy around. I'll get you a set tomorrow. You sure you want to spend the extra money on us? <laughs> Come on. Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. When a road is slippery, braking your car can cause skidding or worse. Now, Tevis, an ITT company, has an anti-lock brake system to help keep your car under control. A built-in computer senses the road and brakes the wheels without locking. This ITT Tevis system is available on some American cars now, and none too soon. Becker serving with a break in the second set has donned a short sleeve sweater, as has Kelly Everton because it is chilly. Those wet shirts make you cold. Lander leading 6-5 in the third set. Sets are one all on the grandstand. Anacone is serving, so it looks like they might go to a tiebreaker. Fifteen all. Good swing and serve that time had Kelly out beyond the double sideline. Really does get a good angle on that one going out to the forehand side. And he really does it somewhat off a kick toss to a toss pulled to the left, which is more difficult to do. Well, 
here's a chance for Evenden now. He's got the game at 30 all. He's trailing 4-3. A service breakdown in the second. See if he can do something with this point. He has to be thinking, where is Becker going to serve this first ball? How many, wide again? I'm going to guess down the middle. Okay. I got aced. Sets him up with a break point. Nice return of surf that time. Just got it back down at the feet. Causing Becker to have to play up a little on the bit on the board. Landed very, very short. That gave him time to play the passing shot. Great point. The forehand again. Yep, that's his favorite spot down the middle in that ad court. It's amazing the number of times that he goes to the forehand side of a right-hander on a big point on the first serve. There's a fine serve there. Number seven in the ace department for Becker. There is an update. Mayotte two sets to love and trailing two, three and a third against Nduka Odazor. And we understand that Belander and Anacone are going to a tiebreaker in the third set in the grandstand. So we've got some great action all over. Hey, Becker. So Becker moves out to a 5-3 lead. Becker leads 5-3. Kelly not happy with that effort on the return of serve. Stands fairly wide serving the deuce court here. Nukes, he's well away from that center stripe. shot from Becker then because he, he wasn't in a position to play a passing shot, a clean okay. passing shot, so he just made sure he got it down low and firm. And had quite a bit of underspin on it too, which makes it both go down after it hits your racket. That was a really intelligent shot. on top of you and it's love 30 so Kelly in some trouble here Straight at him and low over the net. That's a super backhand volley. That youngster was closing in. <laughs> and it's double set point for Becker. Good first serve and a better return. Game in second set, Becker 6 3. Oh, Becker breaks and wins the second set six games to three. And now let's go to the grandstand. Where Tony Traber could not be much closer, we are at 3-3 in the tiebreaker. Third set wound up 6-6. Mats Vlander and Paul Anacone, Anacone serving. 3-3, current score, first one to seven wins, must win by two. Four, three. Paul Anacone okay. fell behind 1-3 and he's now scored. 
the last three points in succession and is up 4-3. His tiebreaker record this year, including the second set, is 12 and 10. That's Paul Anikone, and Mats Delanders is 6 and 5, including today. The lander deserves. 4-4. Oh. Well, he's been getting away doing some of that. He's a real master of chip and charge. But every point has been full of drama. And here in the last five minutes, the wind has uh, begun to gust even more seriously than it has. 5-4 Five, four, Five, four, V-Lander. Mats V-Lander won the first 6-3. Lost the second in the tiebreaker to Paul Anacone, 7 6. Five, five. Well, it sure looked as if that passing five, shot of Vila had got past him and he swung around and just. Not only got his racket on the ball, but it made a really good shot. He's so acrobatic at the net. He's just somebody who's not exactly tiny. He really moves and dives well at the net. 6'1", 175. It's, uh, he's not a small man. Six five. Set point. Six five and a cone. And ace number fifteen. Whoa. Wrap it up, Quiet, please. Thank you. There are a few more folks here from New York than from Stockholm. Six four. Oh, that was close. Oh, it certainly was. But, you know, <laughs> Villandes, he gets really tough when he's down against, up against it. He doesn't make any errors. He just manages to squeeze those balls in. Paul had that one set point serving at 5-4 in this set. And there is movement. Please take your seats at the back there. Thank you. The lander backs away and now says he's set as uh, the folks sit down. Well, he got caught. Anacone got caught with a passing shot as he charged seven, the net. Six, and Belander now leads 7 6. Set point once again for Matt's Belander. pressure that he just cannot come up with too many of those passing shots today. Eight, seven, Vilando. Set point with his own serve. Paul Anacone's mother, who made the trip to Wimbledon last year after Paul reached the quarterfinals. Game and third set, Bielander. But Bielander comes back. And he wins the third set. 7-6. Back in a moment. Today, American tax laws are under review. Can we continue to allow this kind of tax structure? Investors called Merrill Lynch. I've got taxes on my investments. Our Russian people are finding out where the various factions stand. We're just watching things and keeping our clients informed. Fairness and equity are the equalities. Interesting. They did a complete about face. The reports from Washington tell us that this could be the biggest change in history. More resources, better solutions. Okay, call me if there's something new. Merrill Lynch people, a breed apart. 
It's a small company. In fact, you're looking at the entire staff. But to the client, they looked as professional as their biggest competitors. Maybe that's because they had the help of Team Xerox. Everything looked perfect with their Xerox memory writer. And they got big copier features right on their desk with a new Xerox Marathon copier. At 9 a.m., they presented their case. By 4 p.m., they got one with a note saying, please thank your staff for such great work, which happily they did. We got it! <laughs> we got it! Sir, I have to talk to you about that. About being taken off the Tyler matter, I suppose. I've been on the case for six months. A nice shirt, Morgan. What is it? Shirt? Oh, this is a Bradstreet for Merrill. Now, about that case... Morgan, you've got style. That's important at this firm. Then put me back on the Tyler case, sir. Nope. The Tyler case is much too insignificant for our new senior partner. Bradstreet, the image maker. A new collection of classic yes, dress shirts from Arrow. Quickly updating Court 16 right now. Tim Mayotte leads in Duka Odizar of Nigeria. Two sets to none. And Odizar is down a break already in the third set. Paul Anacone, as you know, he trails Mats Vlander Two sets to one in the grandstand. We keep an eye on that. But meanwhile, let's check back in on Boris Becker. And let's send you back to Tony Travert and John Newcomb. Tony? And Becker serving it down break point. That is actually the third break point that Becker has saved in this first game of the third set. And the first one of those, uh, Kelly Evenden, uh, hit a very good backhand return down the line. Had to have only missed by about half an inch. It was a winner, had it gone in. Number four, he really has played a good match. He's stuck to his task out there. The underdog, of course, Kelly Evenden. And he got some very questionable and tough calls in the first set, which which upset him, obviously, and um, he could have very easily won that first set. That's the first one of the break points that Becker has served to the backhand side. Excuse me, he did, the he did the first one there, and then he did two to the forehand. But as you mentioned, Nuke, he's been playing the forehand a lot. He serves the forehand, and on some of the ground strokes, his approach shots, he's coming on the forehand side. What I did notice about that serve, though, I've been wondering if you're playing Boris would it be hard to pick his serve or not? And that time it just seemed obvious that he was going to kick it out to the to the backhand. Let's see what he does here. Another break point. Went for the middle again. Game Everton. Everton breaks serve and wins the first game of the third set. Our friends in the Goodyear Blimp. There is the huge scoreboard at the top of the stadium. For those of you who didn't see the first set, uh, Kelly Evenden Kelly. there led 5-4 and serving. The score stood at deuce and he got a, a very bad call on a first serve that Boris just hit back and he didn't even try to play it. The ball had to be around eight inches out. Finished up losing that service game after that. Lost easily in the tie break. He's played a good match. Sure has. He's still playing a good match. This crowd in the center court buzzing.
you know, when you're down two sets to love to 40, 30. the current Wimbledon champion on the stadium court here, you think you might be on a bit of a downer, but she came right back in that last game to break Becker's serve. Well, after the story I just recited, the kid's got to be happy just to be here at all. He's obviously not a quitter. Head camera. That's from our Goodyear blimp. Quite a sight, isn't it? Amazing. Okay, here's where you need a big first serve. point from Becker then he hit the service Becker. return didn't intend coming to the net behind it but saw that it was floating and he would have plenty of time to get in so he worked his way in he really reads the game well and he now has a break point different type of volley nuke have another look well it's power of becker's drive we've, <laughs> we've seen how fast uh, kelly is around the court and yet the power of that drive hit from behind the baseline and he had no time to react so connor's in a situation like that recently on tv and he hit himself in the head with his racket and drew a little blood they had to get bill norris a trainer out to treat him well there's a cracker jack return and another break point for Becker. Becker trying to get even at one all in the second set. And generates so much power off both sides. Tim Mayotte, straight set winner over Duke Odazor, 7-5-6-4-6-3. So big serving Tim Mayotte moves to round four. Fifth ace. at a pretty good time when you're down a break point. Advantage Everndon. Look like Kelly's shot hit on that sideline and squirted through a little bit, and I think Becker is saying to himself, get over the ball, instead of hitting under it. He speaks English very well, but he's smart enough to <laughs> cuss in German, I think. <laughs> Not like my mate, Nastasi. <laughs> used to swear in the language of the, of the country he's playing country he was in. <laughs> no wonder he got so many fines. Lander up three love in the fourth. He's leading two sets to one against Paul Anacone. That's over on the grandstand.
Third break point in this game coming up for Becker. <coughs> Some tough games. The first game of this set was a long one. The lights are on. took the chance then and closed in on the net. And he also guessed right or anticipated correctly. He's anticipated most of Becker's passing shots today. The direction that they're going. And he doesn't exactly just bunt the ball when he makes that volley no. either. Gives it a real nudge. He does. number four in this game for Becker. Belander moves out to a four-love lead in the fourth set. It's like perhaps that tiebreaker in the end of that third set took the little starch out of Anacone. He served for the third set too mm -hmm. at 5-4. think it was good he pointed to a mark here's another look we'll see if our one all no way we can tell from there Becker gets the break back and it's one all in the third set that was a long tough game that one in fact the last two games have been long Good tennis. over Manhattan. It's been threatening all day long. We've been very fortunate not to have any rain today. We got our share last night. It's canceled the, the evening program. Notice how easily tennis players get accustomed to ball boys. You know, you grow up and you, you go get your own, you pick them up all over the joint, and all of a sudden you got ball boys and they become very natural for you.
30-15. Ball was awfully close to that center line, I thought. Just almost knocked, knocked the, ran, the uh, racket out of Becker's hand, came back, <laughs> took him completely by surprise. He only took Sheer about two pace. steps. 30 all. I think he's back at 30 all again. out to the forehand side a lot on this this court obviously he can hit it well down the center too ace number eight Number nine, and Becker now leads 2-1 in the third set. Becker leads 2-1. Michelob Light, super premium taste in a less filling beer. Michelob Light, oh yes you can. Stand moments ago, Matt Spielander with a match point against Paul Anacombe. Game set and Matt that was it. In four sets, Vlander advanced, and the number three seed continues to roll along. But he met unexpected trouble early in that match today, and the turnaround, of course, was the second tiebreaker when Vlander just survived. We come back now live to the National Tennis Center. We'll send you back to the stadium. We'll take a look at Boris Becker. Night is descending on the Big Apple. Tenneco is a leading oil and gas producer. Tenneco is America's most successful shipyard. Tenneco is America's best-selling shock absorber. Tenneco is a leading maker of farm and construction equipment. Tenneco is one of America's largest natural gas pipelines. The Tenneco family, building on quality. If you're thinking of buying a personal computer, and all the signs say it's time to take the first step, a few questions may still be holding you back. Will your PC have the power you want to run the software you want? What about expandability and optional equipment? And how much money is it going to take? If these questions have crossed your mind, now is a good time to look at IBM. The complete answer. An IBM PC can run the latest, most powerful programs and give you almost unlimited expandability. 
with options like the new IBM printers and the IBM PC network. And today, prices are better than ever. So, don't wait. Once you take the first step, the rest come easy. IBM personal computers. See them at a store near you or call your IBM representative. We're in the fourth game of the third set. 40-15. Kelly Everton is serving at 40-15, trailing 1-2. Boris Becker won the first set 7-6 and the second 6-3. Been playing two hours and two minutes thus far. Kelly Everenden is trying to get even at two all. full-blooded drive that time is the half volley backhand passing shot have a close look at it and try it at your club tomorrow morning and good luck <laughs> <laughs> no problem at all you just lay back and open up your shoulders Kelly took that one early so Becker didn't have time to recover so you know, Boris Becker serving at two all in the third set Becker's from a town of 17,000 people. After one Wimbledon, they had a parade for him. There were 25,000 there. been a good match for Becker so far I think he'd be happy with it he he's had to play a lot of shots and he's had to work hard oh he's feeling his arm like <laughs> did it go through me <laughs> that really did come back hard I agree with you Nuke it's it's uh, good to be pushed a little bit like this you can't just cruise through all your matches then when you play a tough guy you're not going to be ready, so you need to be pushed some. And during the match, he seems to have developed a better rhythm on his service uh, action. A little bit better timing. Oh. Oh. What a super backhand passing shot from Kelly Evenden. Well, he didn't learn this one from me, I'll tell you that much, Trape. <laughs> Big backswing. Look how far behind the court he is, off his feet. He's only 5'9", 155. Becker had no chance at all to move across. That was some shot. 30 off. It's a gorgeous day in New York City. We are at the U.S. Tennis Center, and Pat Summerall is standing by with Tony Traver. Well, thank you very much, Vern. Tony, I was uh, in Texas yesterday covering another sport, 
but I did get to see the beginning of Boris Becker's match, the singles match, and I understand the finish was quite exciting. Well, it was, Pat. Uh, he played Kelly Everenden of New Zealand, a uh, youngster who really put on a good performance, and Becker really struggled. He got a good break on a call late in the first set that sort of upset Kelly and won at 7-6, and then he came back and won the second set 6-3 and said, well, the Wimbledon champion's pretty much in control. We eventually had to go off the air at 6 o'clock, as you know, and it got into a tiebreaker mm -hmm. uh, in the third set. So we want to take a look at that tiebreaker. It's 6-all, and so the tiebreaker in set number three, and that's Kelly Everton, youngster who was in a car accident right, please, six years ago, lost one lung. They gave him final rights twice. They didn't think he was going to make it, and here he is playing the Wimbledon champion in the stadium. Becker to serve. They have put on short sleeve sweaters because it was chilly. There was a cool breeze and those shirts get wet and then you stand around a little bit and you get cold. Becker looks really unflappable. Especially when you consider he's just 17. He does a lot of diving too. Shot by Kelly. One zero ever. I don't understand German, but I can't imagine that was a real pleasant conversation. I bet you're glad you don't. The Ontariac left in the suit and Gunder Bosch, who is Boris Becker's coach, Tyriac is manager. Boris does look like he'd fit well on a raft floating down the Mississippi, doesn't he? Yep. A cane pole. There's 2 0 Everton. 2 0 Everton. He came out smoking throughout the entire match, jumped around, ran, covered court beautifully, made some tremendous shots, hit some returns of serve like they were shot out of a gun. And he gave Becker all he could ask for. Oh. You'll notice, Pat, that Becker goes after the return to serve. Doesn't matter what the situation is, he can be in trouble. But he likes to go for the shot. Watching yesterday, the first time I saw Everton, I thought to myself, what the heck is he doing here? This is Raphael Septian. He looks just exactly like the Dallas place kicker. Huckleberry Finn here. Unflappable he is. He is has a great nervous system for this game. Three, one. Well, he's also Everton. got some great natural ability. Indeed he does, and that's his favorite serve right there in the ad court, down the tee, down the center line. He serves that with great effectiveness. What a great future Becker's got if he doesn't get too weighted down with endorsements. See a good get by Everton. He didn't make the shot, so it's now 3-2 Everton. 3-2, Everton. Pat, you've heard me say it before. It's one thing to be fast on the court. It's another thing that when you get to the ball, be able to make a shot. Some people have that knack. Other ones can get to it, but then don't do much with it. Well, that goes along with what you've always said about having the racket ready when you get there. Right. Get it ready on the run. 3-2. A lot of us who can't do two things at once. I understand what you mean. Kelly, well under six feet, he also served very well. He gets over the ball, so he gets a little arc, a little safety as it crosses the net. He's very impressed with his effort. Shot. 
And it's now 3 all. Players change ends after six points. And of course, in a tiebreaker, it's the first player to reach seven with at least a two point advantage. Here's another look. Three all. Good approach. A little hopscotch straddle. And there, good anticipation. The ball went back deep. So it's now three all. I asked Becker what he liked to do. And he said, I, you know, all I know is I like to play tennis. Yeah, he likes those earphones. He plays music all the time. So it's three all. This again is the finish of the match that took place yesterday between Boris Becker and Kelly Ebern. He's got it. Perfectly played. Four, three, Everton. You'd never know by looking that. Ian Kiriak is such a nice guy, would you? No, I said yesterday it's a good thing he's not as mean as he looks. <laughs> I got to talk about that beard, though. 3 4. Becker serving. makes it four all when, when people see Becker play more they'll recognize when he gets a high forehand volley he almost exclusively goes flat into the backhand side of a, of a right hander first was a fault you heard the buzzer match completed last night Was so exciting. I do indeed. He made a lot of those big backhands throughout the match. Five for Everton. As you can tell, the crowd was into it. things we mentioned about Everton and the fact that he in that accident he lost a lung mm -hmm. he said that if he gets in long matches it, it creates a problem for him he that sure happened. did a lot of running that happened when he was a child six four Everton and he has two set points Six the crowd. Four, Everton. Taking plenty of time. Mm -hmm. oh, fault. oh, don't you think he wanted that one? Didn't miss by much either.
six five. Six five, Everton. That was the big opportunity, having the set point on his own serve. I was surprised he didn't go in behind that second serve and put the instant pressure on Becker. So now it's 5 6. Becker will come in. You bet. Now they change ends again. And you have to win by two. Becker's got a few skid marks on those knees. He'll lose weight here if he keeps diving. That just the cement just keeps taking that skin off. It's a tough match, and Becker, the first time he has been pushed mm -hmm. in the tournament, and it may help him too as he tries to move forward. Super serve and a better return. And again, it's set point for Kelly Everton. Seven six. Seven six. Everton. Luckily, you probably heard. That's not luckily, but you probably did hear that a couple of airplanes go over since the action is ceased here in the stadium. We've been lucky with that, which is always an element and always a factor here at the U.S. Open. Haven't hurt him much. So once again, Kelly serving for the set. <laughs> well out that time. People in the crowd don't like the call. Their faces look calm, but you know, you know their stomachs are churning. No first serves when he had those set points. He's missed them all. <laughs> Bad shot there. Attempted a drop volley. Way too deep. And now Becker has match point at 8-7. Let's see where he serves this one. Again, his favorite is down the middle, serving into the ad court. Will that change over the years? If people start picking it, it will. Although I think, as I recall, match point at Wimbledon, he served the other way and made it. <laughs> there it goes. Tried to go down the center. Just missed. So Becker struggles, but advances. Don't forget tomorrow, Nystrom and Becker, McEnroe and Thomas Smith. We start our coverage at 1230 Eastern time. Right now, let's go down to Brent Musburger and Jimmy Connors. All right, thank you very much, Pat. And another man who's celebrating a big day tomorrow will be Jimmy Connors. Uh, happy birthday.